Nothing beats homemade graham crackers. They're the perfect after-school snack, and you can really taste the touch of honey and the cinnamon. And they're the absolute best when you wanna make a graham cracker crust. Hi guys, I'm Madeline here at Lakeside Table. So I discovered these graham crackers when I was working at the Firefly here in Effingham, Illinois. They make their own house-made graham cracker that they crumble up to use to serve their ice cream on a plate to keep it from slipping around. So when we ran out, I made a batch and when I pulled them out of the oven, it was like, wow, you could really smell the honey and the cinnamon and they smelled so good, I, I had to take a bite. I took up the little one and ate it and it was like, it was the most amazing graham cracker ever. So I am really excited to share this recipe with you guys. All right, so go ahead and get your ingredients together. Um, now you can make, of course, you know, a pie or a graham cracker crust with regular store-bought graham crackers, but if you really want to elevate your pie up to the next level, give this a shot. So after you've got all this pulled out, go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees. The other thing that I love about this recipe is that you don't need any special equipment. Um, you don't need a stand mixer or electric mixer or any of that, just a spoon and a bowl and you're good to go. Next, add two and a half cups flour, two and a half tablespoons of honey, a quarter cup of brown sugar, six tablespoons of granulated sugar, a half teaspoon of cinnamon, and one and a half teaspoons salt. Mix this on the lowest speed using a paddle attachment until it's completely combined. I fell in love with this graham cracker recipe so much I put it in my cookbook, Lakeside Table Sauces, and I use it both in my s'more bars and my key lime pie recipes. Now that the flour mixture is combined, slowly pour in 10 ounces of melted unsalted butter. Mix this together until it's all incorporated. Okay, this looks about ready. Now go ahead and spread this out onto a baking sheet. It'll be a little crumbly, that's okay. It'll all come together once you start pressing it down with your hands. You could also use a, a little tapper. You could use a flat bottom, flat bottom glass, whatever floats your boat. So just spread it out into an even level and then that'll help you press it out evenly if it starts off and kind of a pseudo even level layer. All right, I can either start, you can either use your hands and just press it gently into the pan. You can use a tapper if that works better for you. You can even use a flat bottom glass. This works well too. All right, I think we are about there. Okay, so I've lined this with a silpat. You could also use parchment. Honestly, there's so much butter in this, I don't think it's really necessary. Okay, we're gonna put this in a 350 degree oven for about 12 minutes. After you take it out of the oven, score it with a knife or a pizza cutter while it's soft, then let it cool in the baking sheet. Okay, I think it's ready. Oh yeah, the edges are nice and golden brown. And then before this cools off too much, we can go ahead and score it very lightly. And then we'll let this cool off in the pan. And if you do have your silpat underneath, your graham cracker, make sure that you use a very light touch 
with your pizza cutter or your knife because you don't want to cut your sill pad. Okay, I'm gonna leave these out for a snack for my granddaughters and the rest I'll save for making a crust for a key lime pie. Thanks for hanging out with me here at Lakeside Table. If you haven't liked and subscribed, please go ahead and do that and head over to my blog, lakesidetable.com. If you wanna check out my cookbook and if you wanna print this recipe out, then come on back for some more videos and I will see you soon. Bye guys. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> Thank you.